In western Washington state, Jason Rygaard's finally starting a massive logging job that could keep the family business alive for years. So, this job is, as far as the logging and the buck and stuff goes on it, it's gonna be kinda tight. We've got three sorts of fur logs, but we've been off for a little while, which is gonna make it a little bit difficult. So, getting back in the swing of things, I wanted to make sure we're doing it safe and that we don't have any screw ups. And we just wanna remember overhead danger limbs hanging in trees or broken tops. Keep your eye out. I know I'm anxious to get going. I'm sure you guys are too. We should be pretty much ready to go to work. We can just start getting rigged up. We'll take the time to make sure we're doing it right. Securing the yarder is a huge job. The crew runs thousands of feet of cable. Three steel lines are secured to anchors at the base of trees and tightened with pulleys to the top of the yarder's tower. The cables hold up the 63-ton machine when it starts hauling in 7-ton logs. While Jason and Craig set up the yarder and landing, the cutters are already slicing through 150-foot Douglas firs, worth $800 each. With thousands of feet of cable in the air, and the yarder set to fly in trees. Craig moves in the shovel to stack the logs once they're on the landing, but he doesn't realize his boom is dangerously close to the guy lines. Dad! Hey, Dad! Holy! I walked right into their guy line. Oh, yeah, you did? I was watching those other guys, and I lost my mind. We'll be all right. We just got to fix it, right? Oh, my god. It looks like it just sucked a bunch of loose slack out of the guy line drum. My dad being a space cadet. Once the crew resecures the guy lines, they finally start hauling up logs. Well, it's nice to see logs moving. We can start generating some revenue. Right now we're we're making logs, but we ain't shipping them yet. That's the next step. Watch it! The carriage high? What happened? The carriage die? The carriage is shut off? Yeah. Just when Rygaard has some momentum, the operation grinds to a halt again. We haven't worked for a while. There's going to be some weird stuff that happens. This first day is going to be a bear. The carriage hauls logs up the mountain. Without it, Rygaard's not making their six load quota, and they're definitely not making any money. Weird things happen when you haven't been working. Machines don't want to go back to work. This is proof. The little carriage just said, ah, I ain't ready to work yet. That's the bolt. There's your money. I told you there's always weird things that happen on the first day back to work after being off. Like, why does a bolt just fall out? The bolt for the clamp. If you can't lock the car on the skyline, the car just keeps moving. We can't pull slack through the car. A loose bolt shut down the skyline, a costly delay as Rygaard gets the gear back up and running. I knew this was going to go down. Try it. Perfect. I think it'll work. With the issues hopefully behind them, Jason needs to haul and stack six loads of logs to stay in the black. It's going to be close. I'm hoping we can actually really start getting up to speed and our production will go up where we need to be. I figured it at six loads a day just to break even. And then all we need to do is be able to start shipping some of this, get some log trucks in here and get some wood moving. And don't pay on the landing. That's it, boys. Quitting time. I feel pretty good about the way things went today, all in all. In spite of the yarder being screwed up, I was afraid that we weren't even going to get close to what we needed for the day. But they actually yarded six full loads today and made enough today to make it pay. So now I'm hoping to start getting some wood out of here, start making some money. It's a huge deal for me to know that we're going to be OK, that Rygaard's going to be able to keep working and that all this is going to come to fruition. It's encouraging. Hopefully we can start yarding full turns and get this thing really rolling like it needs to and we can get up to seven, maybe even eight loads a day. If we get eight loads a day, I'll be smiling from ear to ear. All's well that ends well.